Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new, my name is Brenda and this is my platform, Not For The Ordinary. Um, today's video I thought would be a very helpful video. It is a brow tutorial. Yeah! I'm going to some tips and tricks on how to have your brows look as natural as possible, um, how to fill in your brows, um, and also some charts that may help you to pick out a actual brow shade. So if you would be interested in a video like this, then just keep on the first thing that I think that you should think about when going ahead and purchasing an actual brow product is your hair color. So you want something that is going, a shade that's going to complement your actual hair color um, because it'll look more flattering on you. So I'm going to put a chart right here and it's going to show you some different hair shades and complementary colors for those hair shades. Another thing that I think that you should think about is um, what type of brow product do you want? Like they're not all the same and they definitely don't give off the same look. Picking out a brow product, um, they have brow pencils, um, pencils that are actually like you have to sharpen them. They also have like pencils that are a creamier consistency that are angled. Um, they have pomade, they have brow mascaras like boy brow which everybody loves and raves about. They have brow powder. You have different brow products. So if you're working with a pencil, um, this wouldn't apply to you. But if you're working with a pomade or a powder, you would first of all need an angled brush. And you would also need a flat synthetic brush like this one. Um, these are two tools that you're definitely going to need. I have my pomade here and I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which is the OG of brow products. First thing that you want to think about when filling in your brows is you want to know exactly where your brow starts where your arch is and where your end needs to be. Um, a really great rule of thumb is you wanna take something, whether that's a brush or whether that is your pencil, you wanna place your actual brush or pencil right by your nose. Where typically your start would be, if you wanna do is you want to go ahead and you wanna take your pencil or your brush and you wanna just go and place it right in the center of the Eye. That'll be where your arch is supposed to be. Of course, everybody's arch is different as well. You can make your arch higher or lower. It's then you want to go ahead and you want to just place your brush or your pencil right outside of the eye. So right about there. And that's where your end is supposed to be. So typically when you do that, you can get an idea of like where your brows will start where it's supposed to have a natural arch and then where it's supposed to end. So what I'm going to do is actually start to fill in the brow went into my brow pomade with my angular brush and just picked up a little of the product. What you want to think about is you want to create a line of distinction so that you know exactly where you're, you're missing here, where you need to fill in here. So what I do normally is I actually just create a little line on my actual eyebrow bone and this just gives me an outline of where my brow is supposed to be. And just creating a line be the same for everybody like you want to just create that line right on your actual brow bone and that is where you get your actual outline for your brow and if you look like above the actual line that you created on your actual brow bone you'll notice where you are sparse where you're missing some hair where it's struggling Now that you are looking crazy, now I'm going back in with more product on my actual angular brush. And what I like to do to fill in my brows is start at the tail end first. So take your angular brush and just make light hair strokes, strokes. Product and then just go on in like nice light hair like strokes. Filling in the area that is their missing hairs. So the opposite eye and start at the tail end and do the same thing. And I'm gonna kind of turn my brush on its side and kind of just like brush up to create more of a more of the illusion that I have here, right here at the start. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you would just go in with a concealer of some sort. I prefer the cream, it's just a little bit thicker. I definitely will say that a tip is you want to clean up your brow with a shade that is your actual skin tone because you don't want your brow to stand out. You don't want to highlight the brow. I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go right underneath that line that we created earlier. And I'm just gonna clean up my actual eyebrow. Go on top and do the same thing, which is just clean up that brow. So I'm just going in. Because I like to take my finger and I like to just blend in the actual concealer. Um, I just feel like fingers help to warm up the product and actually help it to look really nice and natural. So what I'm gonna do is take my middle finger and I'm just gonna blend this concealer out. So these are the brows. So um, I hope that you enjoyed the brow video. I hope you gained some knowledge. I hope that my tips and tricks work for you. Like I said, don't be really anal about your brows because regardless of how hard you try, your brows will not look the same. And that is okay. If you like this video, you can definitely like, Subscribe to my channel if you want to, and as always, bye bye.